All right, so now you've thought about an issue that influences your life. So now it's time to think about when you hear somebody else state one of these issues, what's your opinion on it? But an, what is, or what is an opinion? That's another very good question. An opinion is kind of based on, it's how you make a judgment about something, but it's based on all your personal history. That's why it's your personal opinion. So it's based on your needs. What is, what do you need? What does your family need? Do you have childcare? Do you have not? So then are you able, is it a good idea to go to school more often or not? Um, values, what's important? beliefs, influences, perspective, your personal history, what it makes more sense to you. These are all things that are unique for every single person and every single family. And so that's going to have a big effect on what your opinion is on one of those topics. So based on something in your history, that's going to help that help shape your opinions. And so, but what do we do when we hear somebody else say their opinion? So there's ways that you can react to somebody else's opinion. The first, you could just be judgment going, oh, that's bad. Or, oh, no, that's stupid. Those are kinds of things that are just ugly or beautiful. There's no, they're just saying, nope, I don't want that. Judgment is very much like yes or no. There's no kind of, well, some parts of that I can see it could be good for some people, but not for other. Judgments tend to be just very snap reactions. And this is unfortunately what you see a lot of on the internet with people leaving comments of, nope, that's terrible. Or, oh, that's awesome, but not really thinking through all of the factors and everything else going behind it. Um, so what we're gonna be thinking about here is, this evaluative action, rather than just going to our snap judgment, we're going to what other information? I, I don't quite have enough information to understand what's going on. What do other people think? Try putting yourself in somebody else's shoes. Oh, wow. If they had trouble getting to school, then maybe then they would need other transportation. That could be harder for them. I hadn't thought of that before. Um, Thinking about the motives of people. This is a really big one. Why are they trying to sell you these things? Oh, is it because their company, and this is a big one if you think about with the soda tax. There's all these people who've been saying, no, 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 we shouldn't have a tax on soda. Who are the ones who say we shouldn't have a tax on soda? Those are the people who are selling soda. So what's their motive? What's behind it? If there's too much, if there's tax, people aren't going to buy it and they won't make as much money. So are, what you got to think about what's the reason behind? Why are they trying to convince you of something so much? Um, and then that leads to weighing different sides, thinking about what would happen if there was a soda tax or there wasn't a soda tax, what, what would happen? So evaluative action. This one is taking many more th factors into consideration rather than just judging going, ah, that's bad. Oh, that's good. Evaluative gets a lot more data. It, it, this one, it's, you have to really think about it. It's not an immediate response. And even then, okay, so even after you get your judgment or your evaluative action, Next, your opinion is on a spectrum because you might be, for certain things, you might be neutral that, it, you know, it really doesn't affect me. If it's a question about letting your dogs go poop on somebody else's lawn, maybe you don't have a dog, so it doesn't affect you. Or maybe you don't have a lawn, that might not affect you as much. But it could be something else that you could agree with. Yeah, I can see some good, some bad, or maybe some, but then that's also a scale of do you just agree? Or do you strongly agree? You go, you know what? I've weighed all the different things. I truly strongly agree with this. Or is it the opposite? Do you just, eh, I'm not such a fan of it. Or do you strongly disagree? Is this something that, no, really, I could not live with this sort of decision. And think always with what's influencing your decision. Which one of those things in the back? What's influencing you to strongly agree with that? Or to strongly disagree? Or to be like, no, nope, this isn't a factor in my life. It doesn't make a difference. So. With all this information, you're now going to be considering the other issues your classmates have shared and thinking of other issues that are going on in the world. But always think about when you're deciding, do you agree or disagree? What are those factors behind it? What information do you have and how are you making that decision? All right, go to it and think hard. Go.